All right, we are at the Echo Canyon parking, Echo Canyon Loop Trail, which is not what we're doing. We are coming, you probably can't see this, we're coming down what looks to be called the Ed Riggs Trail. We're coming down to lower upper Rhyolite, lower Rhyolite, turning left on the Sarah Deming Trail, coming around doing the Heart of Rocks Loop where you have rocks such as Pinnacle Balance Rock, Punch and Judy, and Duck on a Rock. We're taking the Inspiration Point Trail. We're gonna go out to Inspiration Point, which is a half mile each way. We're gonna loop back on the Mushroom Rock Trail, come up the Ed Riggs Trail, back to where we are. It's gonna be about nine total miles with uh, maybe 2,000 foot of elevation gain, give or take. Um, but it should be nice and pretty and perfect weather. So, uh, and there's our snowy mountains out there. So I'll show you when we're headed down. The descent's pretty cool through some of the rock. So as we're starting to bend down, you're starting to get in the middle of all these spires and stuff. So you can obviously play around however you want. Um, but yeah. Pretty cool and rocky getting through, getting down through all this stuff. And, you know, we're dropping all the way down to basically the low point, the low canyon. There's our boy Sugarloaf. I totally forgot to show you the main. There's an area called the Grottoes where it looks like this and you can go up in it, but this is very similar, so I'll show you this one. Little shelf cave and then. Well, it would be. I could get up here. Of course, the trail was up there, so I could have just come down this way, but this, this would be a little challenging to climb up here because there's not really very many footholds here. Although I could probably just pull myself up, but no need to. But uh, cool little sections like this that you can uh, play around in. And uh, just continuing to descent here so we're down on what's called the echo park area and there's actually flowing water so i don't know if there's a seep or a spring or it's just flowing from higher i'm not really sure but pretty cool not super cold cool water but not that cold um so yeah this is uh echo park and we're continuing to descend down to one of the main drainages major drainage here we're going out and eventually banging a left Whew. we're going that away so we've made it down to this sort of, I guess, main drainage, although maybe there's a more main drainage here. Um, so I thought we were at the low point, but we might not be at the low point. Eventually we're gonna bend back up. Um, but yeah, we're down running along this uh, fairly major drainage here. I'm not sure if it's Echo Canyon or what it's called. Um, but we're, you know, two, two and a quarter miles in. Um, finished our big initial descent and uh, pretty soon we're going to have to climb out of here um, to head up to the Heart of Rocks loop which will be right in the middle at mile you know like four or five something like that before looping back to Inspiration Point and then back um, I forget the names of the trails now but uh, yeah down uh, just down near the drainage here. So I should have showed you the junction. So we started to climb out of the drainage, then you hit a junction. If you continue on it, you'll just run straight out the drainage. To complete the loop, you gotta bang a left on the Sarah Deming Trail, which will uh, take you up to where the Heart of Rocks loop is, which is still one and a half miles away. I think the sign said 1.6. So we'll do that little loop, which is like a mile, and then uh, then we'll continue heading 
towards the inspiration point spur. And then at that point, after we finish that spur, we'll only have maybe two, two and a half miles left. But we're probably uh, two and a half miles in, maybe slightly more, maybe two and three quarters would be my guess. So still a long way to go on our nine mile adventure. But look at all the formations over yonder where we came from somewhere somewhere up there i don't know exactly where maybe way up there all right so we've hit the heart of rocks loop it is a 1.1 mile lollipop with a relatively small stem of the lollipop so we'll go out do a loop come right back here and then we'll head that way on apparently what's called the balance rock trail i guess the name changes here i don't know but uh, this is cool. There's all sorts of uh, cool rock formations. You can climb up on some of them and get pictures and whatnot, from what I recall. All right, we've hit sort of the top end of this little one mile loop, um, the high end. This is called Punch and Judy. I don't know what those are. I don't know if they're like cartoon characters or what, if anyone knows leave a comment, but I don't know if these two rocks here are supposed to be Punch and Judy. Um, you tell me. I know there's some other better, cooler looking ones further along that we're going to get to shortly. Um, but cool, uh, cool views up here. We just sort of crested the high point of the loop and we'll eventually drop back down, but we're going to see some more cool rock formations. There's our boy Sugarloaf over there as well. So it feels good up here in the wind and the sun. So we're climbing, we're coming, not climbing, we're just walking through all these, but you know, any of these you wanted to climb up to, you know, depending on how good of a rock climber you are, you could uh, pretty easily, I think, get to the top of all these. I mean, it is pretty class 5-y, um, like this, this one would be very easy, but like that one would be a little more, you know, class 5-y expert level, plus there's some overhanging sections. Um, but yeah, all sorts of stuff. I think I might have a picture of this before. Um, all sorts of stuff you can climb around, get as high as you want. Just uh, be careful. I was going to climb one just uh, for fun and exposition, but I don't think I need to. What else we got? I thought there were some more named rocks. Um... Yeah, there's some big, there's some big boys here, for sure. All right, here's another named, another named rock here, Pinnacle Balanced Rock. I'm gonna climb out. Well, not on top. That would be very difficult to climb out. Not me, but uh, I'm just gonna walk out to the. I think last time I got up on this little. be very difficult to climb up that. That Don't. is for uh, professional climbers only. So we were coming from the Balance Rock Trail. Apparently it changes names again to the Mushroom Rock Trail, but here's our spur, inspiration point, half mile each way, round trip one mile. That checks out, it's relatively flat. Um, you just basically get a view over all, a lot of Chiricahua. It's a decent view. Um, you know, if you're pressed for time, don't worry about doing it or don't do it just for this. Um, but yeah, so uh, we are about probably five and three quarters in. So it'll be six and three quarters after we're done this. And then we'll have two and a quarter left to the car with one descent and one like probably 500 foot climb, maybe a little more. Um, the weather's great. I'm sort of parched. I've taken like one sip of water this whole time. I was drinking in the morning in the car though. And at breakfast. Alright, so we, we've made it out to Inspiration Point. And here it is. So there 
there's our boy Sugarloaf, so we're parked. Well, there we are, we're parked right there, so we just have to drop down this canyon and then climb back up and then climb the canyon and then cut left. And our car's right over there, so it's really not that far away. It's only, uh, well, it's a cool lot, probably a mile. But as the trail goes, you know, 2.75, Sure. Inspiration point. So we've come down, we've now bent down this side drain, so this is gonna take us down to sort of another low point, but then we'll have to bend right and climb out of it up to the car. So um, I'm thinking it's like a five or 600 foot drop, which we then have to regain basically. But you can see it's a cool little side canyon. There's some pools of water in the shade. Nice trail alongside, but um, yeah, it'll continue to drop. Um, and then we'll make a hairpin turn up to the right down at the bottom somewhere. Um, and then we'll just have a climb the last mile, which I don't think is too bad. So, came down that big side canyon, got down here, just hit the junction. It's about a mile up. It says 0.9 on the sign. I think it's more, but it's about a mile up. Um, I think like 650 feet maybe of vert left to gain to get back up to the car. Um, so it just sort of hugs the left side of this side canyon. And then eventually we get up and just make a little turn to the parking lot at the end. So last nine tenths of a mile. Ah. And then have a couple hours drive back to Tucson and then a couple hours drive back home. So it's going to end up being sort of a late night again. Oh well. Ah, last little steep push and uh, we are back. Back of the car, nine miles, 1900 foot elevation gain. Nice easy trail, not strenuous, gently graded. Um, that's it. And again, there's our boy Sugarloaf. So, a lot of driving ahead of me.